Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about using videos on your website. So I'm going to show you how you can take a video that you have saved on your computer and put it into your website. And then I'm also going to show you how you can include a YouTube video into your website. So let's start with a normal video. Over here, I have this tutorial.mp4 video. And this is just like one of the tutorials that I did for Draft Academy. And I want to include this on my website. So I can actually use the HTML video tag. And it's just going to be video just like this. And I'm going to give this an attribute called source. So it's going to be SRC is equal to. And then inside of these quotation marks, I want to type in the location of the video. So the relative path to the video from the current file. In my case, it's just tutorial.mp4. And then I can close off this video tag. And we're actually going to need an ending video tag as well. Now, one thing you might want to do is put some text inside of these video tags. And this is text that's going to show up if the user's browser can't display like videos in a certain format. And this is kind of rare, like most browsers are going to be able to display a video. But just know that any text that you put in here will get displayed if the video fails for any reason. So if I go over here to my website, I can refresh the page and you'll notice that the video is going to show up and it shows up. But the problem is if I click on this video, I can't actually play it, right? So I keep clicking and the video is not playing. And that's because we haven't given this video any video controls. So I can come down here and I can actually just give this another attribute called controls. And as long as we type controls in here, now this video will be able to have video controls. So sometimes you might just want to like store a video on your website and you don't want anyone to watch it or whatever. And you can just use that normal video tag. But if you want them to be able to control the video, they need these. So now we can click the play button and you can see I'm watching the video. I can skip to different parts in the video. Um, over here, I can control like the volume. I can make it full screen or whatever. So now we have like full control over this video. Another thing I can do is control the size of the video. So you can notice the video is a little bit big. If I wanted to give this a different size, I can do that. So I can give this two attributes, a width, and I can also give it a height. Now, one trick is you want to keep the aspect ratio of the video. So I'm just going to give this a width and the height will automatically adjust to fit whatever width I'm using. So we can give this a width of like, I don't know, 300. And this is going to be 300 pixels. So now when I refresh the page, the video is going to be 300 pixels. So it's a little bit smaller, a little bit easier for me to see. And you can control the width and the height by just using this width property. Another thing I can do is control the thumbnail of the video. So you'll notice that when I refresh the page, it just gives me like a picture of like the first scene of the video. But if I have a specific thumbnail, I can also use that on here. So over here, I can just say poster. And inside of these quotation marks, I can basically pass this an image file. So over here, I have this thumbnail image. And this is actually the thumbnail for that image on YouTube. So I can actually open up my index.html file again, and I can just put in here that thumb.jpg image. And now when I refresh my page, it's going to use that thumbnail for the video. So actually, let me make this a little bit bigger. So instead of just showing the first scene of the video, like the first image from the video, it's actually going to give me that thumbnail. And that can be really useful. Another thing you can do is specify whether or not you want this to autoplay. So I could say over here, autoplay. And now when I open this page, the video is going to automatically start playing. So that can kind of like be useful in certain circumstances. You can also tell this to loop. So I can say loop here. And now when the video is finished playing, like if we went all the way to the end of the video, it's actually just going to loop back around. So it'll loop around and start playing again once it gets to the end. So you can see when I got it all the way to the end here, it started looping around. So those are a couple of the little, you know, attributes that you can pass it. And there's a couple more. I'm not going to get into all of them. So that's how you can take a video that's just like stored locally on your computer and put it on your web page. Now, in addition to doing that, you can also include YouTube videos. So this is something that a lot of people are probably going to want to do. A lot of videos are stored on YouTube and you want to just like include them into your website. And YouTube actually makes that really easy. So over here, I just have this dinosaur video. 
And if I wanted to embed this dinosaur video onto my website, I can actually just come down here to YouTube and I can click this share button. And then down here, there should be an option to embed. So over here, it will allow me to click embed. So I can click that. And this is actually gonna give me some HTML code. So you can see over here, this is an HTML tag. It's called an iframe. And basically what the iframe tag does is it allows you to like peek into another website. So this will like load up YouTube's website into our website and it'll like center around that video. I'm gonna make an entire HTML video just talking about iframes. So don't worry too much about that right now. Just know that you can copy this code and then we can paste it in. And YouTube actually gives you options so you can like uncheck or check these different options and it'll uh, show player controls or show the video title and other actions. So I'm just gonna copy this. And now we can come over here into our HTML and we can just paste all this code in and we'll be able to use the YouTube video. And one of the cool things about these YouTube videos is you have all of the YouTube player controls. So like I have like the full screen YouTube button, I have like the YouTube volume button and all that stuff. And so it looks really nice if you're just embedding a video from YouTube. And with these videos, you can also change the width and the height. So you can modify both of these values and make them bigger or smaller. So that's the basics of using videos. I think mm, that covers most of the use cases. Either you have a video that you wanna put on your website or you wanna put a YouTube video on your website. That's kind of how you can do both of those things. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.